Hello, my name is Karx82, and welcome back to my Greg Block series. Uh, today we are just hopefully getting a oops, wrong one, another ultimate battery. Now I ended up just moving. I have three of these, and they have all the patterns in them. I've set up all the patterns, and I realized I totally have these in the. I tried to like line them up, like okay, these are gonna go in here and here, and I totally screwed up. Like these are supposed to go in this one, these are going in that one, and then I realized my main problem was breaking these. You would lose all the patterns, and I realized you can actually pick these up. Now you go insanely slow. Let's put that right there. Right there, I guess. Yep. And it doesn't matter. I mean, it, it doesn't matter where the heck these are. But just wanted to show that you could actually move them without losing all the patterns. So there we go. So we got the field generators, the mainframe, the neuro processing unit, and the ultimate battery. And then I saved it to both the packager and unpackager. And put them in there, and then this one has the all the components, LUV, ZPM, and I'll add the UV ones um, as I get them, and then I save those and put those in here. And then the last one is the emitters, and I could also do I don't know if I'm ever going to need these, um, but I could do the sensors. That's what, if needed. I can do the uh, the sensor patterns in this one because it's very similar to the emitters if we look at them. So it's like the foils and then four, two, one. If we look at this, the foils, four, two, one. So they're almost identical. So I can throw those in there if needed. Um, look at that. Yep. All right, perfect. Um, this is slowly filling up, just working away. The only issue with this is it may be pulling, like there's four batteries filling up. I'm not sure how many amps this is actually pulling down this line. I added a, another transformer. And did like a separate line down here because this mixer was. I added a mixer and it was struggling to get power, and I think this was draining too many amps. I think. I don't really know. So I kind of separated it. So LEV comes in, splits into four IV, and then I'm transforming that down. Um, yeah. I added a mixer. I'm doing light fuel, heavy fuel. And as we can see, that's slowly draining and the reason I added that is because I finally uh, where are we I finally pulled over the last turbine having a turbine over here I had the I had a plasma turbine over here and it was using way too much power it was just completely wasted so now I have four orbs electronic clusters and I have my diesel engine. I'm only doing the 2000 U per tick. So just I'm putting diesel in there and then I have lubricant. If I need to I can always add more oxygen. Alright. Alright, sorry about that. Um, if we look at the ultimate battery recipe, 
Now, if we look at all the recipes, 5,000 gold. 3,300 purifying olivine I'm using. 6,000 silicon rubber. 1,300 epoxy resin sheets. Lots of stainless, all sorts of stuff. Neutronium. How much neutronium are we using? 34? Yeah, 34 neutronium. Lots and lots of lot. Oh, 852. So lots of ingredients here. Probably the most I've ever... I don't think I've ever done a compli this complicated of a recipe with AE2 before. I definitely think this is probably the, the most difficult I've ever done. Um, 536 integrated processors. So yeah, lots and lots and lots of stuff. But if we look at this, I have everything, but it's not starting. And I realized this is 257,000 bytes. And my biggest processor here is only 128,000. So I had to craft more of these. All right, there we go. So now that has six 64Ks. In theory, there we go. This works. So we are going to craft up an ultimate battery here. And as we can see, <laughs> just a casual 12 hours is telling me it's going to take. Uh, I don't think it's going to take that long. Yeah, see now it's dropping way down. But, uh, yeah, I'm going to time this, actually. I want to see how long this actually takes to craft, from scratch, every component. So I got a, a timer going, and I'm going to... Obviously, I'm not going to sit here and wait for all this to craft. Let me move away from that fire. But I would like to... Definitely see how long this takes. This is slowly draining the water. Um, I guess I could. Is this all connected? It is actually connected. I can... I think I have the ultimate pipe. Yeah. I can put this back, I think. I can actually move around down here. It feels pretty good. So that all, those are good now. The only problem, the only issue, well, there's a couple issues. One, I realized I need eight, I only have enough in here for about 500 of these, and I think 800 something are going to go in there. So I'm going to have to make some more europium manually, I think, which is not too difficult. That's pretty simple in the reactor. I don't think it goes automatically in though, does it? I can't remember. No. So that I will have to sort out, but everything else, I think we're good. This is creating helium. I had 60 million helium and I broke it, not thinking about I'm going to need it, but I have tons of monzonite, I think. Yeah, 4,000 of those, some of those. Man, look at all the diamonds I have. That's a whole lot of purified diamond ore. All right, but uh, yeah, I'm going to cut here, and then we will see if I have any issues. Oh, you can see that at the back wall. That's kind of cool. If anything gets, like, messed up or, like, uh, if anything, yeah, any of the processing get screwed up somehow or backlog somewhere, I will I'll start recording again. And we shall see how long this takes. Lots and lots of time. So yeah, we'll see how long this takes. It'll be interesting to see. Alright, so far everything's going pretty well. 
This is taking quite a while. Now, one thing I have realized is these are ZPM machines, and I only have one little diesel engine. So these have drained really quickly, a little quicker than I thought they would. Uh, so I added some oxygen to my diesel engine to boost, bump this up to 6,000 EU per tick, but obviously that's nowhere near enough for a ZPM machine. Um, as we can see, this one is much higher than the other four because that one's being charged up. The only thing I can think of right now to not mess up kind of like the crafting and I don't want to be crafting other stuff is if I just kind of switched out batteries as needed. Once those got low they're almost empty so I think I'll just come over here and empty switch out like four batteries and hopefully this uh, that won't cause any issues um, but I definitely need to get this situation sorted out for these large crafts because I didn't really want to have to... I wanted to just click the button and everything worked perfectly, but this I did, didn't really think about. So this is one thing I need to fix. So that... I'll probably put these machines on this side. That's probably the easiest way. The ZPM machines. I just gotta figure out where. These Yep, those are all charging up. It's tons of you from my right, that's actually draining a bit because it's filling those batteries up. Um so the ZPM stuff. I don't know, I have about four. I have room for about six over here. I don't know. Um, what is the situation underneath? Yeah, see, this line goes right underneath that. What happens if I do it over... This side. I mean, I have plenty of room. Maybe I could like put them like right in the middle. Not exactly ideal, but. I have this right here. This is my ZBM line. So this is the turbine. I don't. Mm, I could put them in here. Maybe along in there. I don't know. But that I will think about. Uh, but yeah, so far everything is working. Pretty well. The only other thing is the europium that I'm going to have to manually put in that uh, put in manually in that um, autoclave. All right, I have found another issue, a power issue, and I've realized after looking at like, oh, why are these struggling? bunch of these different machines are struggling and I realized if we look at this I only have four amps coming in yeah so I'm not I'm not getting enough power into this battery buffer so I need another insane yeah and I can't craft that right now because my, uh, <laughs> they're already full. So I'm going to have to borrow one of these for now.
I guess I'll do four. Now that is going to cause issues with this. But that's fine. I'm not, it's not super necessary. I'll fix that after this craft is done. So I just got to make sure. Alright, I got to push this one back. Did I? I think I... Okay, the... I grabbed the wrong cable, I think. Yeah, I grabbed the... Did I? No. Maybe I grabbed that out of my inventory. Or out of the A system. Yeah, that was weird. But this should, I think... I just gotta make sure... No. That's not what I want. <laughs> this is what I want. See, I almost blew everything up. Let the. Oh, I don't have enough. I'll have to use these cables. These carry 16. Is this going to burn up? If I place this. Yeah, a lot of the problem here is I um I'm just gonna paint that a different color. A lot of the problem is I can't do any other like uh, crafts right now because all my my blast furnace is like super busy, so I can't really craft anymore. I should paint that white. Or black. I shouldn't be doing that green. There we go. So white or black means it's the same thing. Okay. And just double check. This is IV down to EV. Because if I... Yeah, I don't want to screw anything up with explosions. Don't explode. All right, no explosions. All right, and there we go. Now it's getting enough power. I'm going to switch these around to get some more batteries. All right, so now this is charging eight batteries. And I don't know. I usually, I've never been able to get more than four batteries charging. Now this is charging eight? Wait, no. That's draining. Okay. Yeah. So yeah, only four batteries are charging. Um, I'm just going to leave those. This is technically the wrong type of cable. I'm not going to worry about it. So let's see if that solved this problem. And it did. Right. Yeah, I just didn't have enough amps. So, yeah. Oops. So far, everything is going well. The other issue I had was I didn't have enough titanium fluid, but that's easy enough craft. Yeah, that was the other issue. So I just heat up a bunch and it's fine. Uh, Unfortunately, I'm going to have to keep watching this. 
Um, but it does last quite a while. And if I look at my timer, even though this episode is only 30 minutes long, uh, it has been 57 minutes since I started the craft. So this thing is going to take, I'm guessing, four or five hours probably to craft the entire thing. And everything still going okay. Uh, the one issue I am having, well, another issue, there's a couple of things that have popped up that I need to fix, is europium. Now, I'm actually good here. The problem is I need europium ingots, which is fine. Um, I added a redstone card so I could turn it on and off. The problem is that I need ingots in one, and then the I'm trying to remember which one. Then I need also europium in the autoclave, which I can do like export both into. But the problem is this will use europium, and if I use like if I tell the thing to make a certain amount of europium. Part of it will get used for this, and the ingots won't get made. So I'm not entirely sure what the best solution is to have both ingots being made and then adding europium to this. I was thinking maybe having just like backlogged, or I really don't know, to be honest. Like, how do I... The only thing I can think of is possibly, like, just having... Like, the ultimate battery uses... I, don't, I can't remember what it is. 30... I think it uses 32 plates. Just have 32 plates of europium always made. But then again, I run into the same problem as... I want to insert it in here as well as make ingots. So I think, I mean, I guess I could do, I could probably do like an emitter, a level emitter, but it's such a pain. Yeah, I wouldn't even know. how to do that. But anyway, that is kind of where we're at. We're still chugging along. I kind of just leave it to go, come back, and then uh, see where we're at, because this stuff is taking a long time. It's been about, I think, three hours now we're at. Let me check. Two and a half hours since I started, so yeah. And everything's going fine. This is a bit annoying because I have to keep jumping back and forth and replacing that. Uh, but yeah. And we're still plodding away here. And I just started getting to the assembly line recipes, and they to be working no problem here so that's always good to see now everything is smelted up the only thing I am waiting for is these crystal chips and my the processors um, these I accidentally didn't have the thing outputting so these got backed up for a while and same with the tritanium in my reactor, I did not have that. I didn't, I forgot to have it. I never set it up in the first place. So that, uh, this, my reactor wasn't working, producing the tritanium. So this took a little longer than I uh, wanted it to. So it has a lot of gold to get through, producing the radon, to produce the geranium, to produce 
the tritanium and I will probably I'm thinking as soon as I get one tritanium ingot yeah, as soon as I get an ingot I'll macerate it and stick it in the replicator um, but yeah that's gonna take a little while so definitely have some it was cool to see like you know the entire process to see what I can improve and stuff so yeah so everything is working pretty well now one issue I had uh, it's been a couple hours later I closed Minecraft and reopened it and I realized the assembly line recipes have cleared so it looks like if you shut down Minecraft this will screw up these recipes so if we look I have like there's all my foils I have 4,000 electron platinum but there is no recipes to actually make those as we can see there is no it should be like emitters it should have a recipe to make these to make the ZPM and then the UV ones but those are nowhere to be found so what I'm gonna have to do is cancel this and restart it um, so I am actually going to do that, but before before I start this next bit, the wetware supercomputers, which are going to use this thing, I want to, so we'll cancel this. I'm going to wait for these to be finished, and I want to actually move these over to the other side, I think. So I have set up a little bit of an area that I think will work. R like right here, but the problem is I have this line right here. So I'm gonna have to like switch this around a bit. And what I'm thinking, see there's my ZPM line right there. If I come over here, if I break that, fortunately this stuff is right in the way. So titanium, let's see how am I going to do this. problem I have is, well, the easiest thing solution would be to, if we do that, I can bring the, the line in. The problem I have right here is I'm using only four amp cables, so if I accidentally touch these with the cable, it'll like vaporize these. So I need to shut this off, I think, it needs to happen. Actually, what ends if I, let's put this back. I'm going to do a backup just in case I blow anything up. Let's pull these out. So that shouldn't be getting any power, I don't think. Famous last words. So if I put this down, nothing should happen. Or it might vaporize. All right, perfect. So I'm going to go along here. I don't know how many of these I need, to be honest. So I'm just doing a bunch. And then I will spray paint these. And I've done this quite a few times. All right, so these are 100% not connected, right? Yep. So if I put these back, no explosions, everything is okay. All right, perfect. 
So I'm going to move this over. If I do, if I look at this really quick. So I have all these, this stuff to make. And then here is the recipes uh, for those. So they're popping back up again. So I'm going to get this connected. I'm cooking up the Nequada cables right now. So that's going to take a second. Um, I'm going to pull over those lines, those the assembler. I'm going to get that, and then we will get the battery buffer finally built. And there we go. That should be the ultimate battery. And there it is. So that took about seven hours to craft everything that needed. Um, it definitely had slow parts that I have. Um, I need to sort out. Uh, mostly, the longest part was the these. This took the longest because this is a 600 second recipe at this speed. So this definitely took a long time. There is this recipe that's a bit of a dupe. But there's no way to like auto craft that. Like to say if you use this to get these then you can use these to get this to get this again. I Like AE2 like won't recognize like a looping thing like that I don't think. I'm not entirely sure but that I still don't particularly like that recipe. I feel like you can get one crystal processing unit and end up getting 64. Like, just back and forth. Like, I don't know, that just feels a bit bad. So that was definitely the longest part. And the second longest part was smelting everything up in the blast furnace. That was also... Now, unfortunately, this did not work. The way I have these three recipes in here. Because as soon as it would be crafting this, everything would be working great. And then as soon as it got one emitter for this, it would pump out all these things for this recipe. So they would try to be doing this at the same time. So the the buses would get uh, like half of the materials for one half for the other. So this entire thing did not work, to say the least. Now I have two solutions for this. I don't know if one of them will work. I was thinking about trying what ends if we put the what if we try putting like an input bus with 16 slots in each of these so it can have multiple stacks per bus I don't know if that will work um, but that is one solution that I've tried to come up with and the other one would be just to have each of these emitter recipes on a different assembly line which they're long enough I need 10 so I could put like one on here then one on this one and then one on this one these should be okay I think I've never had issues with these but it's definitely like this is the issue the way these recipes are set up is causing me an issue Although this might also cause an issue if I'm doing like 10 of these at once. So yeah, um, but that will have to be for next episode because I'm at wrapping up point on this episode. So I'm going to try to figure this out um, for the next episode. And then on this, before I go, I need a... UV input hatch. Energy input hatch. This one. So I need four and a quetto alloy. Is it? Oh, I just need one. And I already had the things in there. I think I actually have all that. So there is an energy input hatch, and I am going to. I don't. I'm not entirely sure how I want to do this. 
But for now, I am just going to put this energy hatch here. And I need a UV battery buffer as well. I didn't think about that. But I think I have most of, I'm just going to do one. So chest. Quite a alloy wire, I need four. Luckily I already have ingots. So this is actually not too bad. We're going to do this. All right. That's filling up the buffer. That's why that's, I think. As soon as that better, yeah, there the buffer is filled up. So now it's. It's going up. Now, just for testing purposes, I think I'm going to let's just pull this out really quick. I would rather have these all in one central location, so I haven't entirely decided how I'm going to do this. Like have all my ultimate batteries over here and then sending out all the the lines will be going out with ultimate voltage and then getting transformed down where needed um, but it's going to take me a while to sort out that so let's throw this in here really quick so there we go ultimate battery on the blast furnace max u per tick is that now let's uh, just to see, let's throw a stack of this in here. I just want to see how fast this goes. All right, so that's osmium. I mean, it's not super, super fast, but osmium does take quite a while. So that is definitely much quicker. Um, the other option, yeah, that's actually going pretty quick. Why don't we do, did I already put, I already put all my quadria through, I think. Yeah. Uh, why don't we try just stainless steel is one of the ones that takes a long time for the battery buffer. So there we go. That's stainless steel. So definitely an improvement. Obviously, these recipes are only going to get so fast, so multiple uh, blast furnaces would be better. Uh, but yeah, that's going to be it for this episode. Next episode, I want to get the assembly line sorted out with that recipe, and then I think... Um, yeah. That is definitely one thing I want to do. I'm not sure the rest of the stuff. I want to get the rest of these machines over here. I want to get more plasma turbines built. I want to get some more reactors built. So I still have quite a bit to do. I want to get accomplished. Um, but yeah, I'm probably not going to be showing the ultimate batteries anymore. I'm going to continue crafting them, but I will be doing that without um, recording. I just haven't entirely figured out how I want it to look under here. Like, do I want like four battery buffers in a row with one and then just outputting? Or how do I... I just don't know how I want to accomplish that. But anyway, that's going to be it for this episode, so thanks for watching and have a good one.